Hello and welcome to this video on how to use the diff test option in the M plus software. My name is Christian Geiser. I'm an instructor and statistical consultant with Quantfish. And on this channel, I present weekly statistics tutorials, usually related to multivariate statistical methods, such as structural equation models, factor models, multi-level models, or latent class models. If this is something that interests you, then please subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and to check out the description for additional resources, including a link to my free weekly statistics newsletter and courses and other videos offered through Quantfish. So here in this video, I want to show you how the diff test option is used in the M plus software. And let's first of all talk about what this option is good for. So when you run, for example, a factor analysis or structural equation model, with ordinal data and you use the WLSMV estimator, which is the appropriate estimator or one of the appropriate estimators for ordinal outcome variables, then chi-square difference testing is not as straightforward as it would be if you used maximum likelihood estimation with continuous data. And so M plus has this diff test option that automates the process of comparing nested models using a chi-square difference test. And that's very convenient um, because then you don't have to figure out how to do this by hand for an estimator such as WLSMV. So in my example here, I want to compare two nested models. Uh, they're both based on a single factor model with four ordinal outcome variables as indicators. And in my first model here, in the general model, I fit a one factor model with three factor loadings, as you can see here in the model statements. So you can see that um, I have four items that load on this factor here and the uh, factor loadings here are not constrained so they can differ between the items and so that's my general model and I want to compare this model to a nested model where the factor loadings are constrained to be equal so assuming essential tau equivalence so to say where the different items have the same loadings on the factor. So in step one here in M plus I estimate this general model with free loadings and I include an additional line of code that says save data diff test equals diff dot dat. And what that does is um, and plus with this option will write out a new file, an external file called diff dot dat, which has the information that then M plus needs to compare the fit of this model to the fit of the nested model via a chi-square difference test. So this just simply allows M plus to save all this information from that model that will then be used in the difference testing once we fit the nested model in step two. So let's run this analysis and there you go, you get your regular model with the model fit and everything. And so that's for the model with unequal loadings, as you can see here. So here the factor loadings can differ between the four indicators. Now let's take a look at the nested model and how we can get this chi-square difference test between the two models by going to another input file that I already prepared. So this is the, uh, the file here called diff test two. .inp, which has my nested model. So now we're in step two, where we estimate the model with equal loadings. And so you can see here in the model statement, I have my same four indicators, but now the factor loadings are all fixed to one. The first loading in M plus is automatically fixed to one by default. So I don't have to put an add one um, so, uh, don't have to write at one here behind the first item, but for the other ones, I included the at one so that they will also be fixed to one. And so there we have then a model with equal loadings, which is nested within the general congeneric model, which has unequal loadings. You can see that there's no more save data option in this um, input file now. Instead, there is, um, I added the analysis command here, and now in the analysis command, we're specifying diff test equals diff dot dat. Remember that diff dot dat is the data file that M plus saved in the first step with the information from the general model. And so now M plus will 
retrieve that file when we run this model it'll use that information from that file to compare the present model with equal loadings to the previous model with unequal loadings and then that diff test that chi-square difference test will be presented will be provided in the output file for this model with equal loading so let's take a look at that by running this And then when we scroll down, you can see here the estimator is WLSMV, so you couldn't do a regular um, chi-square difference test by hand because it's more uh, complicated for that WLSMV estimator. And so now under model fit information, you can see that we get the chi-square test of model fit for this nested model and then also the chi-square difference test relative to the previous model. And so that's the automated chi-square difference testing option now that um, we used with the diff test option. And so that shows you that this model does not fit significantly worse than the more general model. See the chi-square here, you can see is not statistically significant, the difference between the two models. Now, that being said, both of these models don't fit extremely well. They both have a significant overall chi-square. So here, so they might be questionable whether we should do this at all, but that would be the conclusion from the chi-square difference test that this model, the nested model, does not fit significantly worse than the previous more general model. So that's a practical option whenever you're using the WLSMV estimator with binary or ordinal outcome variables, or also when you're using the MLMV estimator in M+, then you can also use this with continuous outcome variables in that case. I hope you found this video useful to learn about this diff test option in M+, for categorical outcome variables and other special estimators. If you did, then please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you get the weekly tutorials on this channel and also check out the description for additional videos and other resources and I'll see you next week.